uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so in the previous video we decided that we are going to move from Next.js to create react application so based on the, that same i have created i mean i just did some small changes and now we have the create react app if you look at the package.json we don't have the next is reference it's all about create react app react router dom react redux all these things okay so here we are good now what we are doing is uh, if you look at the components we are using the same set of components here we have all these atomic components molecules atoms organism and templates the only thing we have to do is we have to introduce the router right so if you see these routes we are actually loading the template landing page okay this is in the inside this particular folder so we will create all the other nested routes here so we are using react router dom to provide or to create a single page application in react further what you will do is you will create these independent routes like path is restaurant right restaurant and uh, this is exact match and you will render some particular component here there are other options you can also use a lazy loading so we can get a split chunk i mean every uh, particular route will be rendered using asynchronous chunk okay your webpack will split these bundles into the different different one landing page will have its own bundle uh, the restaurant page will have its own bundle that we will introduce okay now few more things we need to do at the create react tab we have to introduce uh, redux i mean I, I i'm more interested in writing the hooks but uh, to manage the state globally at the application level either we can use context or either we can use redux let's go with redux because we are going to use uh, simplified redux with just hooks like a huge selector use dispatch and all these things we are not going to write the correct middleware for that okay and uh, we have this login and uh, registration page already if you go to the components i think we have this login drawer and all and what we are doing in the login drawer we are once you clicked on to the submit button we are doing handle submit and we are checking if there is any particular error right otherwise what we are doing is we have created one higher order component first of all what is a higher order component a component taking another component as an argument so this is the use context this can act as a parent component and this is like a provider i was talking about the use of context right so context is something which you can create as a provider on the top layer and the data can be passed from the context provider to the context consumer to any child component okay so to introduce this context you have to actually add it here user provider this user provider is doing nothing but whenever your auth state change is getting changed like uh, when you are doing logout when you are doing login in the firebase auth state will change and here you have to check what is your user auth and you will set the state on the user auth and here this is acting as a provider so in any component in the children routes like any landing page or a restaurant page if i wanted to get the user object then i can get it like this this is the one way here what we will do is we will do one another option is we will put this data in redux store okay so our state is now global we can check user is logged in what is the current user state what is the id token everything you can maintain inside a redux store okay so what we will do in this video is we can actually introduce uh, the redux for our application so for redux is you i think we already have a dependencies react redux that's what you need and uh, we can create a redux folder and uh, do something like here we have components we can create a separate redux folder inside redux folder you will create a store all the possible actions the reducers and all right either you can create these redux components to each and every layer or you create a totally a separate folder and then decide what you want to do is 
So I will have a store dot js. Okay, let's create all the actions in the actions folder. And we have reducers because we are going to have many reducer store actions and uh, reducer for now this is fine now if you talk about the concept of redux we can also just talk a little bit theoretical redux is nothing but a global store for the whole application once you logged in from the firebase your each and every component should have information okay user is now logged in what is the user type if user type is a restaurant owner let's take the user to the admin console if uh, it's a normal user end user let's take him to the restaurant page where the user can see all the list of the restaurant okay so first we will create a simple store so store will be store is nothing but uh, combinations of all the reducers right so store is simple by we can create using create store method and uh, same store we need to provide in the our provider like in the top component here we need to create a default provider uh, on top of this which will say okay you are using redux so first let's do this how we are going to do this so let's create a top level provider that will be for the redux provider and it is asking for a store so let's we'll create a store in this video only and here we will wrap this inside a provider so this is the first step i always do and we can import the provider from react redux import provider from react redux okay we are good here and we need to find a way to import the store so we have already created a file import store from uh, there should be a store file we are creating in the redux uh, where are we right now it's okay it's we're in the redux and store okay and we are passing the same store object to our provider this is the first thing now we will create a store store is nothing but a create store method and what all thing it takes is uh, it takes all your reducers inside it and the initial state okay so we will we will get all the first create store method and apply middleware then we will also import all the reducers we have in our function so we are this is to do we are going to write reducers uh, reducers we have this folder and we'll have some index.js which will give us all the reducers okay we are going to use redux thunk okay there are redux saga redux thunk which are the stem middleware okay what it what they does is it helps us to deal with the asynchronous apis now our components will talk to the uh, apis using axios and we need to actually manage the state which is coming from the apis the redux is purely synchronous it doesn't understand any asynchronous behavior to introduce that we have to use either redux saga or redux thunk as a middleware so what it does is so if you have a request user is doing something it will trigger action right action will go to the reducers and reducers will give the new state to the store and then store will populate this to the ui in this whole story let's say if your request is okay get the data this is async data async action is there so async actions can't be directly go to the reducers because reducers are pure functions they doesn't understand the asynchronous behavior so here what we do is okay if there is async action let's introduce this thunk thunk will stop the service right away and it will wait until your promise is resolved from that api call and then you will send only purely javascript object or javascript data to the reducer not the uh, unresolved promise which is in the pending state or uh, rejected or resolved state okay 
you will always send the pure data to the reducers and then you will have the updated store with the new state object and your UI would be able to get that data because your UI components are always subscribing to the Redux store. Okay, I have like a lot of content available on the React, Redux and all these things. You can watch if you want to learn how Redux works. There is a full playlist of 150 videos on React. You can take it. Okay. Now here we got the thunk. Now we can create a store. Const store equal to create store we can do. Okay. This is caps problem. Const store create store and we can actually pass our reducers and I mean the the which contains the, your initial state and here you will be passing your middleware. Apply middleware you can use. If here you can use all the middlewares you have, like if you have multiple middlewares, thumbs, Redux logger, Redux saga, or if you have created your custom middleware, all you can pass here and then we can just export it export using default export store that's it so here is our store okay now we will write reducers and actions when we need it okay for now what we will do is we will just create a simple reducer function uh, here in the index.js and we will be done so this is a simple setup we will write actions, reducers and store and we are passing store to our uh, main file. We are pro introducing provider. Now next important thing is how to work with reducers, how to work with Redux in a class based component or in the functional component. In the class based component what you do is you create a, you use this connect middleware, connect map state to props, map dispatch to props and create a container component as a higher order component that is the one thing in the functional component you can use these huge selectors use dispatch these are the hooks provided by react redux to actually get the data and trigger the actions to the redux i mean i kind of like it earlier we were writing this connect map state to props map dispatch to props this is a kind of lengthy so if and you can see we are writing a lot of functional component so it's easy to use this okay so that's we that we will do in the next video because we have to put this logged in user detail into the redux store okay for that we will write some basic actions basic reducers and this is how we will go so let's connect in the next video guys thanks everyone